How to Improve Postnatal Growth of Preterm Babies A preterm infant is a baby born before 37 weeks of gestation, typically three weeks before his or her due date. Because premature babies are more vulnerable to negative health outcomes, our ultimate goal would be to find the ways in which preterm babies grow optimally. Ideally, postnatal care for premature infants would be designed in a way that mimics life in the womb, so that the infant can grow and develop to reach full term weight. However, in reality, there are various deviations which can affect the growth of preterm babies. An example where this is the case is often in neonatal intensive care units. These are units located in the hospital which provide specialized care for preterm babies. In one study, variation in the unit's performance was found to be closely linked to variation in growth rates of preterm babies. The good news is, is that optimizing growth for preterm infants is totally possible with today's medical technology. We just need to implement them. But how exactly do we measure optimal growth? To measure postnatal growth, three different measurements are used. Weight gain, body length, and head circumference. By measuring body weight, we measure a general increase in size. Measuring body length ensures that the increase in weight was not due to increased fat mass, but rather longitudinal growth. Head circumference increases indicate that there was an increase in volume and brain mass, showing a potential for better cognition and brain function. By using these metrics, researchers can be more certain that improvements in postnatal growth are a result of increases in favorable body composition. Changes in body composition that are a result of increases in fat mass are associated with various diseases. High percentages of body fat are associated with early onset of adult metabolic, neurological, and cardiovascular disorders, whereas low percentages of body fat are related to low levels of hormones such as leptin that control metabolism and hunger. Studies have shown that small birth weight babies have a higher risk of coronary heart disease, whereas large birth weight babies have a lower risk of coronary heart disease.